of all, you two are adding to our on-screen canon of Black superheroes uh, with your characters. And I wanted to know, how do you think these characters will go down differently in our history of Black superheroes as a different portrayal as we've seen um, before in our history? Oh, these characters are, again, Jupiter's legacy, legacy is a story about complex family relationships. First of all, the relationship between me and my dad, Fit Small, is one in which you don't really see the dysfunction right off the bat. Mm -hmm. So I think that that, first of all, you know, putting a family institution in which things are actually mended and strong and the ties that bind are strongly knit with one another is important, I think, especially for the Black community as well, too, where you see a lot of people maybe not having a mom or a dad you know, they're absent from the home sort of thing, right? I know I grew up in a family that was divorced as well too, and I didn't have my dad around. So it's kind of cool having Fitz as that example. And then also these characters are smart, <laughs> very intelligent. So I think, you know, in past we've seen a lot of, um, you know, black African-American characters kind of typecast in a certain way in which you haven't really highlighted the fact that they are intelligent and can be things like doctors, lawyers, all of that sort of stuff. And I think that these two characters kind of turn that stereotype on its head, which is it's a really cool opportunity that was provided to the show through the writers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I would just add to that is, um, is just, you know, it's just a, a realness to to these characters. I was I was talking with Mark uh, pretty recently uh, about Fitz, and yeah, he's, he's not a perfect person, but fortunately where we come in at, on this story is, you know, our relationship has been mended. Uh, but at the same time, it's not like other pieces uh, where it deals with, you know, different groups and like, they're just like perfect. This is mm -hmm. really nothing wrong with them. And that's just not real, you know, we're human. Uh, and that's what I love about this because yeah, we're superheroes, we're still very human, dealing with very human issues and, um, that I really enjoyed, you know, hearing from Mark and talking with Mark about that is that we're just going to take a real look at this person and love them anyway, despite of, you know, their faults. Yeah, yeah. Great answers, great answers. That okay. is all of my time. I thank you both so oh, much. Okay. And yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, fingers crossed because I'm hoping we get a volume two and oh, we can yeah. see more of this dynamic um, between this father and daughter duo. Um, thank yeah. you for your time and congrats so much on this launch. I know it's going to be hit. It's highly anticipated. So I can't wait yeah. for people to see it. Yeah. Right. Nice talking to you, Trey. Have a good thank one. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye.